same time. I'm Brian. I'm Mikey. And today, uh, while we, uh, where do I reach up for this? I just push the power Oh, yeah, button. let me do it. Okay. Can you grab this? No. Hey, uh, so while we're, you know, waiting for the protector to warm up and everything, uh, today is Mikey's birthday. Hi, brother! Hey. He came here on his birthday to talk to you guys, or girls, because, you know, we love you and want to help you out. So. Whoa, 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 don't get too carried away. Alright, calm down, calm down. This is an active group. I can tell you had a good lunch and feel a little energetic. I like that. I like that. Feel the energy. Feel the good vibes coming. Okay. So, what's your name? Tanika. Tanika. That's a cool name. Nice to see you. All right. So, I'm Brian. This is Mikey. We represent Limitless, and our mission. Our mission is to conquer diabetes through lifestyle and innovation. Let me ask, who here has diabetes? No. Mike, dude, we're done. Let's go home, man. You guys have a good one, all right? Ah, <laughs> oh, come on, I'm just kidding. You guys are all too excited there. Come on there. All right, so you might be thinking, okay, Ryan, I don't have diabetes, so why are you here, right? Well, before we get into that, we wanted to show you a little video. When Mikey and I started Limitless, uh, we decided what better way to connect with our fellow youth than by creating uh, a little video. Now, Mike Jones here, he is one of the most talented musicians you'll ever get the chance to meet. He actually opened for the Imagine Dragons a few years ago. And uh, he said he's going to be kind of playing in the background, just kind of create uh, a good, fun atmosphere for us. Um, a good atmosphere to learn, you know what I mean? So, now myself, I'm not as talented, but I have been known to write a line of rap or two, right? <laughs> so, we're going to actually show a video of uh, Mikey and myself uh, rapping uh, all about being limitless. Now, I know how this goes. When you first watch it, you're going to start giggling like, what are these white guys doing rap? <laughs> Are you kidding me? You know, you're gonna nudge, you'll make chuckle, but then you're gonna start watching it. You're gonna, you're, 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 well, exactly. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That that more, exactly. Yeah. Two of the most popular. No, I guess. So don't, you know, don't hate. So, so you're gonna be listening, and then you're gonna be like, you're gonna start grooving. You'll be like, hey, it's not bad. All right. That's how it always goes every time. So, here we go. Check it out. Hey, everybody. <laughs> this is for diabetes. There's a lot of people out there that need our help. You know, we can make the difference. I'm BP. My boy Mike Jones. Here we go. This is for you now. Y'all. Life is tough. It's hard to break through. With things in our past we wish we all could undo. But I say let it go. Forget and forgive. You got your life ahead of you. You choose how you live. It's time to rise up and become something great You gotta realize that you create your own fate Don't let anyone tell you that you can't succeed You gotta learn to rise up, you gotta learn to believe Have you ever had it happen where you look in the mirror At the person staring back and wonder why am I here Well let me tell you what, there's more to this life Than going through the motions, just living in strife It may be the dark of night, but hold on tight The sun will rise, you'll win the fight What doesn't kill you can only make you strong So listen up now as I sing my song Another mother's out on the streets He's cold, he's got no home And he's got nothing to eat You walking around the downtown What do you do? Do you stop? Do you drop yourself a dollar or two? If you give a man a fish You give him food for a day But that won't make the cut That won't bring home the pay The change of which we speak Is something utterly real It's a change of heart A change of mind It's something you feel The world's going crazy Things are hazy But don't you get lazy Cause when he prays baby He cries out save me And you may be The change in the world That today we need Set aside your greed And listen to the plea of your brother in the street saying please help me It's time to man up, be the one Help these people overcome The trials that every single person must face So let's 
start now to better this place It's time to go, you gotta show your bro that you know, yo How to help him grow, so don't throw away your glow Just take it slow, you can bestow more than dough So listen as I spit my flow For steps are the hardest ones to make But you gotta just do it for heaven's sake The change that will come is called the ripple effect Each step affects the next, so you better reflect Do you have the respect of people all around? If you wonder how to get that, let me break it down Duck is cheap, it's time to react When your brother's on the ground, do you have his back? Persistence is the key, one step at a time Just take it real slow and let your light shine Be yeah. the change that you wanna Be the change, see. baby Break the trend Break that trend Take the lead And take the lead This place we call home is hard It's hard, girl You're better than this You're better than this You can never be stopped You are You're limitless Now if you're smart You'll follow your heart You'll see the end results from the very start Broken bones, scars, wounds, all will be healed You never know the results your efforts can yield Take a step back and you'll see within you The real change has come from all that you've been through Cause if you really want it, you can learn to be Like my boy in the streets, his name was Gandhi Be yeah. the change that you wanna see Break the trend Take the lead reasons. The first is to let you know that you are limitless. Uh, did everyone get a wristband? Yeah, everyone got one? If you haven't got one, come get one at the end. Um, because this wristband says limitless on it. We want you to wear it with pride. It's our gift to you to let you know that you're not limited by your circumstances. Okay? But you are limitless. Um, let's see here. I've got a couple questions for you. Um, Remind me of your name. I know I just asked. Tanika. Tanika. That's right. Uh, Tanika. Have you ever had a bad day? Yeah. Okay. Who here has had a bad day? Raise a hand. Oh, today's yours. Well, you know what? I promise that something we say to you today is gonna make you feel better. All right. But you gotta pay attention. I'm gonna help you out. I promise. Between you, we'll talk after. You'll let, you'll, you'll, let, you'll let me know if you're feeling better afterwards, all right? All right, here we go. How about, um, have you ever had a trial in your life you thought was pretty tough? Maybe you're going through it right now. Maybe it was in the past. Raise your hand. You should, she's had one. She's, she got two hands, hands up. She got two hands up. Okay, all right. And how about uh, who's ever been hurt by someone or something? Yeah, it happens, you know? So we are here for you, right? We are here to help you feel empowered. Feel like you can overcome and rise above these challenges, okay? Now, hashtag real talk, right? <laughs> yeah, we're cool. We're cool. Life, look, but really though, life is tough. It can be tough sometimes, you know what I mean? But we want you to know that even though it's tough, you can still find happiness. You can still overcome these trials, all right? We're young guys. We know when adults say this stuff, it's like, yeah, adults don't really understand me though, you know what I mean? But we were in your shoes not too long ago. We, can, we know kind of what it's like and, and what you're going to be going through and things like that. So that's why we wanted to come and talk to you today, okay? Like I said, we promise something we say today is going to make you feel better. If you're going through right now, it'll help. Maybe you might want to write something down, all right? All of us will have challenges in life. And uh, I want to show you another video clip. While Mikey sets it up, I'm gonna, I want to introduce it. Maybe you've seen it. It's from Rocky Six. In the video, Rocky's son, he's complaining about why, you know, life is tough and he's making excuses, why he's unhappy and why he has a bad attitude. And, uh, and this, is, this is what Rocky has to say to him regarding um, his son making these excuses, okay? Here we go. Let me tell you something you already know. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. 
It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is going to hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Now, if you know what you're worth, now go out and get what you're worth. But you got to be willing to take the hits and not pointing fingers saying you ain't where you want to be because of him or her or anybody. Cowards do that and that ain't you. You're better than that. Okay, that's a powerful clip. He says a, uh, he says a few things I want to highlight here. He says the world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. And that'd be nice if it was, right? It'd be so colorful. No, but it's not, okay? And, but that's okay, because he says it's not about how hard you can hit, but it's about how hard you can keep, you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward, okay? And it's important to not, um, you know, point fingers, make excuses saying, I'm not achieving my dreams because of him or because of her or because of this uh, trial I have in my life. Nothing can stop you from reaching your potential and achieving your dreams if you really believe it. And that's what this organization, Limitless, that's why we chose that name, is to communicate that to the future, to people like you, okay? I want to share with you a few examples of people in my life who have had bad days, really bad days. They have had trials that I haven't even experienced yet of this magnitude. Maybe some of you are going through similar trials right now. And I want you to know that you can draw strength from these examples I'm about to share. Let me introduce you to my good friend, Robert. This little guy right here, so cute. That's my buddy, Robert. He's older now. He's like 22 or something. Um, but that's him when he's a little kid. I showed the little picture because we grew up together. Robert and I, we played basketball together. Boy, that, he can ball. He is, he is a good basketball player. Great athlete. Great family. Our families all grew up together. Um, well, when Robert was 13 years old, who here is 13? Okay, so about, about the age of, of, of everyone in here for the most part. When Robert was 13 years old, his father passed away from unexpected health complications, leaving behind a wife and eight kids. Now this is what I, I want to use Robert's words in describing this experience. He said, it is without a doubt the saddest experience of my life. And it was, it was sad for me to hear about it. I can only imagine how he felt. <clears throat> but then Robert goes on to say this. He said, we are all blessed. It is vital that we look for the positive every day and hold on to that when difficulties arise, because they will. Think of the difficulties you have in your life. I'm sure we have all wondered at times why life is so unfair. My advice, don't choose to think life is unfair. Choose to think that you have the potential to overcome anything life can throw at you. I know this because I've seen it time and time again. I am a living product of a person and a family who chose to move forward from an obstacle that life laid before me. Does Robert seem like the kind of guy that lets his circumstances limit him? I don't think so. He, uh, he, he's one of the strongest people I know. He's such an example. Yeah, he's had a few bad days in his life, as I'm sure you can imagine. But he is so strong, he is limitless. It would have been really easy for, for Robert to make excuses. It would have been easy for him and his family to turn to drugs, to alcohol, um, to, to those other kind of things that, that don't do anybody any good. But instead, his family, they turn to each other. And they made the choice. They chose to move forward. They chose to overcome. Okay? Here's Robert's words. He said, he said, the changes may very well take time. And that's true. Sometimes challenges, they take time to, to overcome, you know? But then he says this, but making the choice to reach your potential is easy. Making the choice to reach your potential is easy. Okay? I want to introduce you to another friend. It's my good buddy, Seth. Seth, he's 24. He's a two-time cancer survivor by the age of 24. When Seth was 17, he, the day after his birthday, he was diagnosed with leukemia. What a birthday present, right? Um, but Seth has to be one of the most positive and inspirational people I know. 
In fact, here's what he said about his feelings after he was diagnosed with leukemia. He said, that first little while was all a blur. There was a lot happening. I remember feeling very tired and a little relieved that I didn't need to worry about doing my homework. He said, this is a guy, he just got diagnosed with cancer. And he's just thinking, looking to the positive. Hey, at least I don't have to worry about my homework. You know, that's the kind of person he is. He walks into a room, you feel loved, you feel good around him. He's that kind of inspiration to people. And I want to use his words. He said, in the course of going through treatments, there were times when I could not digest anything. Times when I could barely, uh, or I could only breathe through a machine. Times when I had to have major surgeries on my joints and many other things. In fact, a little story about the joints, both his hips have been replaced. He, um, I, I had the opportunity to go to an event with Seth where we had to go through metal detectors and he set it off. I was like, Seth, you set off a metal detector. And then he had to explain to the guy why. It's because both of his hips are metal. And that's what set off the detector. So this is someone who's truly strong. And you know what? He actually competes now in bicycle races. And uh, he, he, he doesn't let it limit him. You know, he keeps moving forward. Here's what he said about cancer and trials. He said, focus on the things you can do, not on what you cannot do. I am grateful for my experience with cancer. He is grateful for cancer, for his experience with it. Why? It's helped me to be a better person. All the hard things in our lives can be made positive as we use them to focus on good things. Hard things do not put limits on what we can do. They only help us to focus on those things we can do. We are limitless as we find positive ways to make differences and help others. What an, what an example. Both these brothers are just two of thousands of examples of people who every day are overcoming trials. So let there be no doubt that when it seems impossible, you can overcome the trial as well. Okay? I know you can. Don't let anyone tell you you can't. All right? Now, let's talk about what can limit us. So we talked about being limitless. That's the first part of our organization's message. The second part is what can limit us. Well, in my opinion, in our opinion, there's only one answer. It's yourself. The only thing that can limit you is you. One of the biggest ways in which people limit themselves is through a poor lifestyle, not living healthy. Because when you don't take care of your body, you don't take care of your mind. And when you're not taking care of your mind, which runs your body, you can't achieve your dreams and goals. You are limiting yourself from reaching your maximum potential. We're going to show a video. This is a powerful video, okay? And I want you to think about your eating habits. And, and things that, you know, you, maybe you might want to start looking into changing and establishing while you're still young before you form these habits, okay? Here we go. Alright, what do we got? Just came in. Heart attack. 5'9", 300 pounds, 32 years old. How the hell does that happen? <gasps> Can I get a, uh... Could be developing diabetes. Yeah. To make a change. <clears throat> oh, yeah. You're graduating! <laughs> Watch TV. You wouldn't even have to leave. You can't do this! Yes, can I get a... Yeah, no, uh, deep dish? You have to make a change. Good job, Jim. You got an A+. Are your fries, sweetie. Here you go. I still can't believe you give this child fresh rice. I know. But it's the only thing that'll make him stop. thinking about some things I want to change. Now, I want to make a side note, especially uh, because this is, this is a, a, a ladies' class. 
not eating is just as bad as eating poorly. Okay? You need to eat, but you need to eat in a healthy way. Okay? And we can talk about that more at a, at a later time. But just know that it's, you, you have to fuel your bodies. You have to. But it's just we want to talk about now how to do that effectively. Okay? Now. Let's look at what a poor and unhealthy lifestyle is doing to this country, okay? Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to include heart disease and diabetes because uh, for type 2 diabetes, the causes are, are synonymous, okay? Type 1 is a different story, but with type 2 and heart disease, some similar causes, okay? Lifestyle, things like that. But first, I want to put things into perspective for you. If you add up every war, uh, let me ask you a question. What's your name? Tony. What? Tony. 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 Can I ask you a question? All right, if we were to add up, and you just make a guess, okay, if we were to add up every war America's ever been involved with, so revolutionary, civil, World War I, World War II, Vietnam, Iraq, Afghanistan, and all the tons we haven't even heard of, okay, add up all the American deaths combined, how many would you say we have since 1776? Well, throw out a guess. About a million. That's, that's the closest guess we've had all day, in fact. Well, approximately 1.3 million American deaths since 1776. Okay? Huge number. That's a lot of people. Right? Now, hold on to that number because I want to now look at how many deaths are caused by heart disease and diabetes every year. Well, that number is about 660,000. You know what that means? After about two years, you know what that number becomes? About 1.3 million people. So that means in two years in this country, we kill as many Americans as every single war has since 1776 combined. Now, does that sound like that's, a, that's an issue? Does that sound like that's a problem? Pretty much. I, I feel like it is. An unhealthy lifestyle, in, in our opinion, is the biggest threat to this country right now. And, and I say we because we all share the responsibility. It starts with each one of us. It starts with me, it starts with him, it starts with you and you, and, and each one of us, we share the responsibility as fellow Americans, okay? So, let's talk. Uh, well, let's talk about being limited, right? Does it limit us? Yeah, if you're sick or you're dead, you can't be limitless. You're limiting yourself. It's, it's, it's pretty simple, right? Furthermore, about diabetes alone, diabetes kills more people than breast cancer and AIDS combined. And, and diabetes, which is uh, type, uh, type 2, uh, some, there's some type 1 in there, but the lifestyle type diabetes, right? All right, and, by two, and at current growth rates, by 2050, one in every three Americans will have diabetes. Let me put that in perspective. So we take that literally. That means one of you three will have it. One of you three will have diabetes. Maybe one of you three, and you know, and, and you know, we can go all the way around, right? It's a huge, it's a huge problem that we need to rectify. And currently, almost 70% of Americans over the age of 20 are overweight or obese. It's a huge problem, okay? But in Limitless, we're problem solvers. Let's start talking about solutions, okay? In the context of war, since this is such a big killer of Americans and such, um, we want to start at the base of it all, sugar, okay? We here at Limitless are declaring war on sugar, all right? Now that sounds kind of funny. However, sugar is as responsible uh, as is meant for as many deaths as any other thing out there, in my opinion, okay? We're declaring war on sugar. Let me explain to you why sugar is so bad, okay? This is what um, a heart surgeon of 25 years, as well as tons of researchers and doctors have said uh, about sugar. First, it's as addictive as tobacco, okay? You say, you know, don't smoke, but you better not. That's a whole another health issue we can enter into, but we won't right now. Sugar's just as addictive, okay? And while you're still young, you gotta start now, slowly developing the habits, of, of, of not consuming excess sugar. What does it do to our bodies? I want you to imagine this, okay? Get this image in your minds. Maple syrup all over your keyboard. Ew. Oh, yeah, you imagine cleaning that out? That's I'm terrible. I'm gonna throw that away. Yeah, exactly. Well, you know what? When we eat excess sugar, that's pretty much what's going on inside of our cells, okay? Let me, let me explain a little bit how the body works. Okay, when you consume sugar, your blood sugar levels rise, right? So your pancreas, little guy in here, puts out insulin. Insulin, glucose is just sugar, right? Insulin takes sugar and it puts it into your cells because your cells need some sugar to function, right? Well, 
when the cell is full, it says, hey, yo, we're full. We don't need any more sugar. You can move on now, you know? But then your blood sugar levels continue to rise. And if your blood sugar levels get too high, you'll die. So your body says, well, we don't want to die, so let's put out more insulin. So it produces more insulin to drive, to force sugar into the cells. That excess sugar turns to fat, and it causes irritation and inflammation, and it's like taking sandpaper and rubbing it on your blood vessels inside. Okay, that, that's not good. That's what excess sugar does to us. It's, it's, it's very, very real. That's why all these stats I've been showing, you know, if we if we cut out sugar, ninety percent of the problems would be solved. All right. Yeah. Quick question. Well, I'm just wondering. So, how much sugar is like the right amount? Oh yeah, that's that's a that's a great question. Um, we can break down specific numbers about how much is the right amount later. We're going to give you more general guidelines of things to start cutting out um, because it's a lot less than what you think. You know what I mean? Because uh, things have natural sugar. Uh, but that's a great question, and you can talk to me more afterwards, and we'll expound a little further on it. But like I said, we want to fix the problem. How can you start fixing the problem now? We're going to give you three uh, simple things. Mikey Jones here is going to pass out a piece of paper, grab a pen or a pencil. We're going to have you write down some stuff on the back of the paper. Some of you already have it. That's great. Um, three simple things you can do to start uh, changing your lifestyle. Okay, and I like, I really appreciate that question because that shows me you're thinking already about how to be a problem solver. I really like that. You know, it's never good just to point out problems without coming up with solutions for the problems, right? So that's what we're, that's what we're going to do now for you. Okay, so first, I want you to throw out every drink that's not water or milk. Now, don't actually throw it out because your parents are buying it, you know what I mean? But just don't. Don't drink it. Mentally, throw it out. You know what I mean? Because, well, because it's bad for you. What about, what about fruit juice, though, right? Well, actually, fruit juice, just as bad as soda. All you're doing with fruit juice, you're taking a fruit, you're squeezing the sugar and water out of it. Five minutes, you're, you're squeezing the sugar and water out, and then you're drinking it. It's just as bad. The same as soda. It's the same as soda without carbonation, okay? So, sugar, Gatorade, soda, Kool-Aid, fruit juice, all that stuff. Throw it out. It's poison. All of it. What about diet soda? No sugar, Brian. Well, for different reasons, diet soda is just as bad as normal soda. And I don't have time right now to go into all the health reasons why, because they're, they're for different reasons. But I can tell you this. Regular drinkers of diet soda have an increased risk of type 2 diabetes of 70%. Yeah, so diet soda is not good either, all right? So, no, no good. It's no good. It's a diet type of soda, right? Okay, so don't drink those drinks, all right? This is one of the best things you can do. Second, learn to say no. This applies to all things, drugs, alcohol, that boy that doesn't treat you right, drop him like a rock, ladies, okay? <laughs> learn to say no, all right? You'll, you'll know what I mean even further as you continue to go, but learn to say no, okay? Um, now this also applies, this also applies to sugar, alright? You can say no to cookies or candy or whatever. Start learning now, okay? You can, you can, just one step at a time. They call my name. They call mine too? They call yours too? Dang, we gotta, we gotta talk, we got something in common. Uh, I'll, te I'll teach you some techniques how to say no to cookies. Alright, alright, all right. stay with me here, alright? Third, you gotta get active. You gotta get out. I can't stress this one enough. When you're active, your body releases endorphins, basically this cool chemical that makes you feel happy and good. And uh, it's natural, and it's healthy, and it's awesome. That's why people love working out. It's great. And it's a lot simpler than you think. A study shows that 10 minutes a day of brisk walking, 10 minutes a day of what, like power walking, for five days a week, for four months, Decreased symptoms of depression by 60.4%. So if you're feeling sad or whatever, get out and go walk. And even if you're not, be active and it'll prevent you from being as sad, right? Um, that is an incredible statistic. So what I want you to do, you know, put in your headphones, put uh, you know, your dog's leash on, call up your friend instead of just texting her, right? And go for a walk for 10 minutes, a little power walk. It'll change your life if you learn and establish habits now of getting active. And then maybe you might get to a point where like, I'm gonna jog for like two minutes only, and then walk in, oh, maybe I'll jog for three. And you know, you'll just start feeling good, it'll be something to look forward to every day. Now one word of caution, 
Um, you can't. Uh, you can't be like, hey, I walked for 10 minutes today, so uh, I'm going to eat a Krispy Kreme now. You know? It doesn't, doesn't work like that. I hate to break it to you, okay? you got to eat healthy, all right? Now, the commitment. If we give you a lot of information and don't leave a commitment, nothing's going to happen. There's nothing will happen, okay? So, on the front side of this paper, we are giving you the Limitless 3-Week Challenge. They say it takes three weeks to establish a habit. We want you to think about and write down just one thing, just one. A habit that you're going to start or stop for the next three weeks. Now our email's on there, and y'all want you to email us at the end of the three weeks and let us know how it went. How oh, I was walking, and I feel so good. It's great, or whatever. Miss Olson, she's going to follow up with you, ask how the limitless challenge is going. Okay. Um, ladies, huddle up. Like stay there. So like you know, metaphorically, come in with me. All right. Listen, you are the future. <laughs> All right. We we need you healthy. We need you strong. We need you to not limit yourselves, so that you can always be limitless, and so that you can make the world a better place. I'm Brian Parker. This is Mike Jones. We represent Limitless. Thank you. You've been wonderful. Have a wonderful day. Ladies, just stay there for just a minute. Things I want to tell you before you go. First. We want, to thank, we want to thank Brian and Mike for, you, Mike for coming in today and for teaching us some good things about health and fitness and all these little challenges that you have, okay? You know your yellow sheets that you are filling out every day, every week, right? The goal sheets. Tomorrow I want you to put exactly what you wrote down on there on your goal sheet so that I know what you're working on for your limitless challenge. How many of you have your wristband on? Okay, awesome. This is such a good reminder for you to do your goals. Uh, oh yeah, it's Wednesday, you know, you're just forgetting. If you look at this, you'll say, oh yeah, I need to drink my water today. I need to not take that cookie, right? Okay, so this is gonna be a good reminder. Now, um, before you go, make sure you say thank you. And thank, you. thank you, you were wonderful.